Welcome to the channel. My name is Richie Vida. Thank you very much for being here. Right, today I am going to try and get this lot. There's like 10 million pieces. Um, official Suzuki uh, panniers and top box onto the mighty V-Strom. See how we get on. We'll do the top box first. So we're going to fit all the plate. All the brackets. There's tons of stuff. And then there's all this lot for the panniers. I haven't seen so many bits and bobs. Seems like there's far too many bits. And then the other thing is, you know the 50-50 uh, chance, you always get the wrong one, don't you? I'm thinking um, the racks for the top box and the racks for the panniers. I'm sure they have to go on a certain way. It doesn't tell you. Well, I've not seen it anyway yet. Um, I guarantee that if I put the pannier racks on first, the top box needs to go on first and vice versa. We shall see. First of all, I always like to get all the bits open. You can see exactly what we've got. I'd say the quality feels fantastic. Right, so that's all them in. These two main racks, there's your actual rack that it sits on. Well, let's get it all stuck together. Now we need to remove all these. Okay, so I've removed these. Remove these from underneath, which are there. And there's a little piece there that you can throw away, like a little packer that goes under there. The instructions are actually really intricate. So all being well, we should be able to get this done quite easily. Top box all done. Looks really well actually this does. It's solid. I was a bit worried about this bit because you had to remove this to get that in and I thought it was going to remain all exposed but no it doesn't. This all clicks in afterwards look and fixes back in perfectly. 
I just don't want to do it yet because I've got the panniers to put on. Let's have fun with that. But yeah, that looks great. I'm really pleased with that. Right, I'm just about to start doing the panniers. I've got to lift all this back off. So I've got to get this bracket underneath here. No, sorry, underneath here. So all this has to come back out um, before it gets fixed back in. there last few bits to attach just waiting for the uh, super glue to dry on these two rubber pieces before I connect this like brace there everything's still loose at the moment we're getting there nearly done so it's a bit fiddly putting it all together but worried about the exhaust but it's miles away so all good all right that's everything attached just got to tighten her all up now better thread lock on all the back of the bolts nothing's tight at the moment it's just just loose but yeah a bit of thread lock on them all tighten her down and we'll get the panniers and top box on I really like them. Still got to attach the little these little things. But well, I can do them any time. So these latches there, they're there and there are what hold them onto the bike. Whilst they look really good, I think they look absolutely fantastic, they're not, um, I know you can't get them off, but essentially the only thing that's holding these on is a little bracket. Can you see a little bracket down there? If you used to take these nuts off, you'd get the panniers off. Same as this lot and the that's that little bracket there. See it? That's the only thing that's holding it all on. It's a very, very, very nice finish. Take it for a test ride soon, see what it's like. There you have it. Panniers and top box fitted to the Suzuki V-Strom 1050DE. Really like them. You can also remove these lids fully. Pressing the button there and take the lid off. I've still got to put these little foam pieces. It's supposed to sit there, I wish it would assume, is to stop it banging into the handrail there, but I don't think there's much chance of that happening anyway. Let's just have a quick look what it looked like with my SW Motec bag. So that's going to be coming with as well. I'm loving the black. I think that looks fantastic actually. Brilliant. Thanks for watching.
And thanks to Suzuki for sending the luggage for me. See you later. I've got to say, these panniers are very, very nice. And top box, should I say luggage in general. I love the black and I love the mouldings. As I said, I've still got to fix these bits yet, but uh, they're lovely. Really, really, really nice quality. I guess the black's gonna show absolutely everything up. But I like it. I like black. As I said before, the latch to remove is just this look. So I'll take it off and show you. But all the latch is exactly the same actually. And that will just slide this way. Okay. So there's your bracket. That's moved actually, I think. Is that moved? No, it's not. Um, yeah, that's it. And on the side. I think these look really, really nice. I need to slide them in. Like so. That's it. And then this latch, there, look, can you see it catch there? So that just comes down. It's the, this is the only thing really that's holding them on. So in a way that's not great because you could just shave these off and, and it'd just come off. But, uh, yeah. So. so that just clasps under there, look. So it grabs and you lift her up. And then obviously lock into place. Put your cap on. That's it. And they're all the same. Let's take the top off, press that button and slide it down. That's it, just come straight off. Get that onto that clasp again there. And then push your button and slide it back up. Now it's back on. I've got to say, I don't really like this bit so much of the bracket because it's on the outside. You don't really want to have to see that, but that's a floating. You see this bracket moving there? It's just resting on this with the rubbers there. So that's kind of floating. But apart from that, that's actually really good. I'm set in the way a little bit here, aren't I? Don't run me over, Mr. Tractor Man, please. Scratch easy or what, but time will tell. But yeah, that's it, folks. That's the panniers for the new V Strom 1050DE. She's all ready for Spain next week. Yeah.